Hordes of hopeful beneficiaries flocked to DSWD field offices over the weekend, hoping to get their educational cash assistance. Let's discuss this some more with DSWD spokesperson, Assistant Secretary Romel Lopez, who's joining us now over the phone. Good afternoon, ASEC Romel. Has the department gone over the challenges that were experienced in last Saturday's distribution? And what uh, do you plan to do with this moving forward? Yes, uh, Sean, uh, first of all, we would like to take this opportunity to sincerely apologize to the public for any inconvenience that uh, the BSWB and our educational uh, payout might have uh, cost them over the, the weekend. Uh, but then, uh, with this uh, incident, Sean, the BSWB is now in uh, close coordination with the BILG to uh, come up with a recalibrated approach to improve our uh, system so that uh, next Saturday, okay, not to preempt the um, memorandum of agree agreement between the two uh, agencies, uh, uh, we, we can come up with a better proposition and guidelines in implementing this educational payout, Sean. All right, just to be clear with what you just said, so you guys, the DSWD, along with the DALG, are coming up with a new system for the distribution of the cash assistance. And uh, right now, it's not nothing is final yet with regard to the process. Am I getting it right? Yes, uh, Sean, you're right with that. And, and right now, with the help of the DALG, we will be also expanding and uh, uh, bringing it closer to the people, we're looking at uh, possibly uh, adding up payout centers, uh, depending on uh, the situation of uh, the, the the local LGUs, and uh, we'll be asking the help of the PNP, AFP when it comes to security and even DOH uh, to assist uh, another influx maybe of uh, this uh, educational payout. But uh, one thing is that uh, sure at this point in time we wouldn't be accepting. Uh, walk-in applicant and that uh, maybe uh, the, the hard-learned lesson that we uh, found out uh, over the weekend that uh, although we open up online registration, most of the applicants who lined up outside uh, the SWD office are walk-in applicants while uh, before this payout, we were uh, very uh, vocal and we were asking there would be benefactors to uh, register online so that we can avoid this kind of uh, problem. But just the same, uh, nothing is final yet, but uh, the, the people can be rest assured that the next payout will definitely involve the DALG and the local government unit, Sean. All right, so at, uh, one change that will be implemented for sure is at least the online registration for the payout before going to the respective offices to claim the ayuda, so to speak. Um, but uh, what other changes can we expect or when can we expect also the announcement for the changes, the new system that will be put in place along with the DILG and the PNP? Yes, well, of course, we, want, we don't want to preempt the memorandum of agreement between the two agencies. But uh, maybe the people can expect that mid this week, we have a final uh, proposition or uh, a new guidelines when it comes to this educational assistance. And uh, as the DLG and the DSWD secretaries, uh, they, they want to accept uh, to assure the public that this time around, everything will be uh, systematic. And everything uh, will be at the convenience of uh, our would-be benefactors. All right, Asik Ramal, if, if you may allow me to discuss some numbers, how many uh, beneficiaries stand to be or are eligible to receive this cash assistance? This is specifically for education, right? Yes, okay. So uh, initially, we have allotted 160 million uh, pesos for the initial uh, payout of uh, this uh, educational assistance good for uh, six uh, Saturdays, consecutive mm -hmm. Saturdays. But uh, due to the influx of uh, this um, last week, uh, last day out, last uh, Saturday, we have realized that there are a lot of people who are in need of educational assistance. That's why the Secretary of uh, DSWD is now uh, really considering to, uh, to, to increase the budget when it comes to this educational assistance. Although we have the figure yet, uh, I cannot really disclose it at this point mm -hmm. in time. 
because uh, maybe this will might preempt our uh, our uh, our budgeting or uh, the 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 MOA between the two agencies. But uh, just to be honest with you guys, mm -hmm. uh, as of the moment, we have already received a uh, staggering amount of uh, requests from our field offices. Uh, well, this is based from those uh, applications online. We have already requested 3.8 billion pesos uh, worth of education and assistance. So these are the, the, the most uh, in other requests that we have received from our field offices. But of course, this will be subjected to uh, evaluation and assessment. So this is the, the request that we have right now. So it doesn't mean that we will be, we will be able to provide for this uh, kind of uh, amount or, or request. But uh, the one thing is for sure, Secretary Erwin told from the WB is very much willing to increase our initial budget. That is 150 million pesos. All right, we'll wait for a further notice on the final amounts and number of beneficiaries you're willing to take in. Um, just one more clarification, ASEC. Uh, we understand that those beneficiaries of the four Ps, the Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino Program, are not anymore eligible to receive this cash assistance. So what then will happen to those four Ps beneficiaries who did receive the educational assistance? Yes, of course, uh, that is uh, one of the clarifica clarification that we made, uh, Secretary Irwin and I, when we have reali we have re realized that, of course, these uh, beneficiaries of the four Ps are already receiving educational assistance through their conditional cash grant. So, of course, uh, some of the four Ps beneficiaries have already received uh, educational assistance from uh, the last Saturday's uh, payout. We are um, uh, asking them kindly to please uh, return whatever uh, education assistance they have received. But if they will not comply, uh, of course, uh, remember that uh, it is also the DSWD who are in charge of their uh, payout, the additional cash uh, assistance from Corpi. So we can definitely deduct it from their accounts in the, the next uh, coming payout. So they will not return their uh, educational assistance that they have received last Saturday. All right, thank you so much for clearing everything up for us. We will get back in touch with you when plans for up, firm up. That was Social Welfare Assistant Secretary Rommel Lopez over the line. Thank you.